Hi, this is Ankur Malu and today we are going to talk about how to create a new self-signed certificate and synchronizing it with all the application server deployments. There could be various reasons when you need to create a self-signed certificate. Probably it could be uh, corrupted or going to expire. Few of the reasons mentioned here which we can see in the app server logs are key store was tempered with or the password is incorrect. At the end of this demonstration, we will understand how to create and synchronize the bladelogic.keystore file. So here I am using BSA 8.7 to generate a new bladelogic.keystore and I can verify the version of my application server from opt bmc bladelogic app server version. So we can see here that app server version is 8.7.00263. First I need to do is I need to stop the app server services, the process spawner and if there is any pixie or TFTP services also running I need to stop those as well. So I will stop my app server services, BL app serve, stop and I will stop my processor spawner as well. So this is stopped etc init.d bl proxer stop. Since I do not have any pixie or tftp running on this machine, I will not stop those. Now I need to cd to the br directory opt bmc blade logic app server nsh br because the command blmk cert is available here uh, to create the blade logic dot key store so the my command will be blmk cert cn equal to the app server host name the path where you want to save the blade logic dot key store and the password So this should create a blade logic dot key store under slash tmp. See this has created the blade logic dot key store under slash tmp. Now I will back up my original key store file from the deployments folder to slash tmp slash backup t bmc blade logic app server nsh br deployments under slash tmp and i have created a backup directory here so i will copy the blade logic dot key store from deployments folder to slash tmp slash back okay now i will copy the newly generated blade logic dot key store flows from slash tmp to deployments folder Once I copy this, I need to run the blast admin command to set the password for certificate. So I will do a nsh here and blast admin hyphen a. Now I will first see what is the old password set here and this should show me in the encrypted format. So when I type in the new password, it should also set in the encrypted format. Cert pass wd is the command and the password which I have given during the generation of bladelogic.keystore. So if I see the new password again, it will be again in the encrypted format. Now I will exit from here. I will clear the screen and now I have to start my app server services and other services which I have stopped. BL app serve start and etc init.t bl proc serve 
start. I will verify quickly if my app server services are running. So I will do a grab on blab serve and my app server services are up and running. To verify everything went correctly, I need to log into the BSA console and that should prompt me for the new certificate. Let's try to log in using the password for PL admin user. So I will type in the password, I will click on connect and here you go. It is requesting for the new certificate to accept. So I will click on yes to accept the certificate and I should be able to log into PSA console. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for new video.